little bit of knowledge can get you into a lot of trouble. Hmm. One of my best friends, we were at school together for our CS degrees. And one day he calls me. This is 2003, 2004. I got a problem. I'm working for this company called Scion, where they make cars. They had this contest going on where if you bought a Scion and you drove it to another Scion dealership, you would get points hmm. for doing that. An engineer would scan a barcode, which then converted to a number that got uploaded to a system. That's how they kept track of everything. There's a website that had all this stuff. And Tim's like, he's like, my website is running really slowly. I'm like, what's in there? He's like, there's not much. And you know, I was coming from Palm and Any Day where we had, you know, anything under a million records, we considered a small table. We got like 20,000. I'm like, well, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> and I looked at it and I'm like, you have an index on every column. And he's like, well, I remember that they said indexes were good in school. <laughs> so it's and updating every index for every column on every change. Exactly. Oh exactly. And so the more data you have in there, the longer it takes to do the next insert and the next <laughs> insert and the next insert. And so we were able to just drop a few indexes and everything was great again. On the other hand, if you don't have your columns indexed, databases can run very slowly. You need to index the right things and enough of them. Exactly. You know, if you're building your tables right and you're putting in the right indexes, stuff like that, you can make queries fly.